So sorry for the very late upload, guys. I've been sick, um, and, uh, I've been busy the past few weeks, but, uh, regular videos should resume, and, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And, no, the best monster of 2017 is not Sea Monster of Theseus. Gosh darn it, Konami, why did you say that? Maybe it will be good in 2018 when Crystal Needle Fiber comes out, but, like, gosh freaking darn it. Anyways, let's get to the video. What is the best Yu-Gi-Oh card of 2017? Honestly, it is just a tough question overall. You could say Zodiac Dryden was the best because of how easy to summon and how oppressive the card was. You could also say Spiral Double Helix was the best card of 2017, which literally made Spirals go from a tier 3 deck to a tier 0 deck instantly. But I think there is one card that everyone can agree on that is certainly a contender, and in my opinion, the best card of 2017. That card is most certainly Firewall Dragon. Firewall Dragon is a Cyber's Link 4 with the following effect. Once wall face up on the field, quick effect, you can target monsters on the field and slash or graveyard up to the number of monsters co-linked to this card. Return them to the hand. If a monster this card points to is destroyed by battle or sent to the graveyard, you can special summon one monster from your hand. So let's first go over the fact that Firewall Dragon is not only a disruption, but as well helps resource cards from the graveyard. This is bonkers, because first off, Firewall Dragon is a link monster. What that means is it is super generic. It can use anything as link materials. Yes, there are cards like Consider Ptolemy M7 that can resource cards as well, but Firewall Dragon can resource multiple cards cards, and is overall easier to make. The other thing is this is a once while it is on the field effect. If you don't know why this is relevant, allow me to explain. In Yu-Gi-Oh, there are soft ones per turns, and hard ones per turns. A good example of a soft ones per turn that is meta relevant is Spiral Tough. Spiral Tough enables you to destroy a card on the field if you call the top card of your opponent's deck correctly. What is absolutely insane about this card, however, is that it is a soft ones per turn effect. Meaning if you, let's say, summon another Spiral Tough or it leaves the field and comes back, you can use its effect again. An example of a hard ones per turn that is also meta relevant is Spiral Double Helix. Its effect contains the text, you can only use this effect to Spiral Double Helix once per turn. This means that no matter if it leaves the field or not, you cannot attempt to activate the effect again if you have already attempted to activate it during that turn. In the case of Firewall Dragon, it is a soft once while it is on the field effect. This means that you can't use the same Firewall Dragon effect to bounce slash recur twice while it is on the field but you can use the effect of a different firewall dragon during that same turn. The thing is, you can loop with this card pretty easily. I mean, during Zodiac format, Dinosaur FTK was a thing. That deck was only possible as well because of firewall dragon. There is another effect that is also absurd. It reads, if a monster is destroyed by battle or sent to the graveyard, you can special summon one monster from your hand. The reason why this effect is also broken is because it says sent to the graveyard. That means that if you use a card for a link summon and the card pointed to firewall dragon, you can special summon something from your hand. For this effect to exist, but even more stupid not being a once per turn effect, means that you can pull off some stupid combos with this card as I have stated previously. Now granted, the card isn't as meta relevant as you would think, but the stuff you can do with this card is actually insane. Many FTKs, many loops, and a whole lot of stupid things to do with this card. That is why this card is the best card, at least in my opinion, of 2017. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, and until next time, see ya.